Yeah, look at that sunrise. What are you going to do if you want to the fish come back in? Yeah. It's a lot like driving my van. Are you going to bring your bloody sleeping gear on now? I well, I'll probably leave it here. Okay, we can. Then oh, because we yeah, we've got to come, come back, back here. Yeah. Three year old man, anyway. Yeah, I hadn't. Decide that we're going to stay on it. Yep. And then we just don't have to drag all that gear around. Yeah, okay. My, I brought my drone and everything. Oh, yeah. Yeah, just. Yeah, well, that's all good. Yeah. Look at all the bait. Look at all the bait. Don't know. Good morning, everybody. It's it's fairly early. It's still it's probably seven thirty eight. Um, we're trying to find a marlin today. That's really what we're sort of we're going to bob around here for hours. I think at this stage and um, try to find a marlin. This is where myself and Kerry spotted the marlin last year, or he spotted the marlin last year. We've got bait on the surface, it's glass. Wow, <laughs> I mean, let's get in there. Yeah! Three or four of them.
so that's a, probably a pretty good idea as to what people are catching today. He's probably been caught and thrown back and he's just dead on the surface. Sorry. A lot of you people who think uh, throwing fish in the back is great, catching fish all day and throwing them back, this is what happens to a lot. It's just dead on the surface. Okay, quick little update from the water. Um, sorry, Kerry, we're getting guts all through your boat once again, but um, I've just landed a king unicorn. I didn't get the shot on film. Lost that one just before him, um, which is always a bit of a shame. We've shot what we believe is some tropical fish. Um, Kerry thinks they're sawfish. We've got one each, so we'll, we'll touch base with that later. Um, really interesting. We're not 100% sure, but... Like they're quite big, they're like a glorified leather jacket, sharp, sharp through here. Um, really interesting. So um, the vis isn't that, isn't that good, you can tell. We've probably got eight meters or something or nice, you know. Um, we're just going to keep going. <laughs> out to release. just pee in his wetsuit. <laughs> There's a gannet just went in over there. Ten minutes later. Gary's still just still peeing. The pistol keeps giving he reckons. <laughs> Trevs in there, we've got some pinkies, we've got a couple of kings, we'll sort of try to cover that a little bit later. But this is the, this is the, certainly an interesting catch of the day, the old yellow spot sawtail sturgeon fish we believe, usually residing in Aussie waters. Myself and Kerry, we got, they're probably identical size aren't they? I would have thought so, much of a matchness. Should we have a measure off? See he's got the record. <laughs> hang, hang some slinkers off the end of it. <laughs> oh, what were we talking about? The fish? fish, yeah, the fish. Oh, I thought you were talking about measuring something else. No, we've already done that. We don't have to do that each time we go out. Oh. 
Right, we've got some certified scales here. <coughs> What's that? 2.794. Um, 2.794 kilo. My fish was a little bit bigger than Kerry's. We, we, don't, we don't know if there's a, like a New Zealand record for these fish or what. Um, if you, uh, the eligibility of it, um, we wouldn't have a clue. I might look into it because mine was the bigger one and I don't know if many people shoot these here in New Zealand. So might um, try to put a pending application for a you know, New Zealand spearfishing record through for it, possibly. Who knows? Mmm, yeah. Just gonna, just gonna chop up the little trev for sashimi. Kiri's off, off like a frog in a sock. <laughs> pick for attention, boys, pick for attention. Right, just gonna about to slice up some um, Trevally sashimi. Little tip is mix your wasabi and soy sauce in a jar and you can take it with your fishing, doesn't spill through your gear and it's already pre-mixed. Which we're gonna tuck into this. You know, I've lost about eight kilos or something. Mm. Probably six, but I haven't. So to wrap up today's video, um, I know we said today really we set out to try to shoot a marlin today so now our theory with shooting marlin because myself and Kerry both make videos um, no one wants to see a video of us towing lures around for nine hours in the ocean because I don't want to see it I don't really particularly want to do it what we try to do is focus ourselves around in particular more offshore pins offshore reefs where marlin are known to frequent where marlin have been caught where marlin have been seen that's how we try to structure these dive days for marlin purely because we want to try to still make interesting content and of course um, still get fish on the day it's a long day out on the water when you you drag plastic for hours of, and hours and hours and hours on end as some of you would know who've been marlin fishing um, and it's you know so it's the cost and it's the videos and it's the whole we still want to get fish at the end of the day so today was actually a really good day really interesting day not the best viz in the water but just beautiful conditions up top it was pretty flipping epic all around um, so we've got a good feed again we'll be getting out there again tomorrow hopefully going for a Tomorrow, hopefully going for a surf mission with a few of the neighbours up here. Um, it's getting on a bit, a little, so I'm just trying to get to bed now. And we'll see you in the morning. I'm Sam Price. I'll see you at the beach.